Stephen. Andrew. Do you fancy spending a quiet night inside number nine? Of course. Right, we're heading into Elizabeth Gadge. <laughs> yes. <laughs> we'll leave that there. We're, we're looking at the script books. Um, and yeah, so if, if you haven't heard our, our original episode, a reaction podcast episode about uh, the trial of Elizabeth Gadge, then uh, go back and listen to that one first. Um, because we are probably not going to talk about the stuff that we talked about in that. Though I can't really remember what we talked about, but it's kind of general stuff, isn't it? I think it ended up being quite a long one, that one. I think it probably was, yeah. Yeah, I think it was one of those that you think isn't going to be a long one, because it feels like quite a just good, straightforward, this is a fun episode, not a lot to talk about. And then, but then there, was. there was a lot to talk about. And if that's any reflection... Strap in for the next three hours because <laughs> yeah, this one's gonna, going to be packed. <laughs> <laughs> I think before we before we kind of started our call, I thought I've got probably six or seven minutes worth to talk about here. Um, <laughs> starting at the beginning, really, which like there's so much missing in the show that is there in the script at the beginning, and then the rest of it just plays out pretty much as it's written. Yeah, and we thought it was a real shame. <laughs> all this was missing from the episode we did so we're going to give you a treat listeners <laughs> <laughs> if you could like put in a timestamp somewhere in like the show notes of this as to when us talking about the episode actually starts so they can skip this <laughs> i think I, they may appreciate it i think they need to enjoy this <laughs> <laughs> Can I just can I just clarify that you did say endure, uh, not enjoy? I think yes, I think I did. <laughs> Don't know what I intended, but, but no, we're going to. Um, I think this is our debut as as thespian. What what's the uh, <laughs> what's the plural of thespian? Thespi, thespi, thespies. <laughs> yeah, we're going to. We're basically listeners. We're going to act out the bits that were missing because there's a huge chunk that's missing. We can't just sort of read it without, without acting this, but there are three characters. So I've got someone else in to read, um, <laughs> Mr. Warren. I'm going to do Mr. Clark. My friend's going to do Mr. Warren. Steve's going to do, uh, Sir Andrew Pike. Um, and we'll, we'll fill you in. We'll fill you in with what's missing. So, Great. Uh, That's, I mean, uh, I like that you've really dragged out the setup for that as well. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go, man. Do you want to, um, are you setting the scene? Okay, so um, it's International Barn Night. <laughs> so, <laughs> ready for a hoedown. <laughs> <laughs> um, what is the scene? The three men... Are bursting through the large doors into the barn. Um, it's a long time ago in an English hamlet of Little Happens, nine, uh, 1649. And You're reading this in a really weird order. I am. <laughs> <laughs> Even the sentences. This is how I like read all it's... books. And it's, it's, I'm, yeah. <laughs> what do you get confused? It's a long time since I went to school and I just a... can't remember how to do it. <laughs> with like a choose your own adventure <laughs> with a pedal of nom numbness at the end. <laughs> um. Yeah, so let's, now let's just go. The Justice of the Peace, Sir Andrew Pike, is much older and stately than the other guys. He shakes his hat of the rain and pours himself a glass of wine. They gather around the table. Our Hamlet is not the first to have heard such strange stories, but I will not cry witch without proper counsel. Which is why we have come, Justice Pike. You sound like a Dalek. <laughs> <laughs> That's not included in the script. <laughs> you must be weary. Tis a great distance you have travelled. I never tire of God's work. I feel not the miles we cross. Oh, hold on. You've done the, wrong, done the wrong one. <laughs> I never tire of God's work. <laughs> I, fe I feel not the miles we cross. Because... 
"'Tis I that takes the reins of the steed "'whilst you slumber behind, Mr. Warren. "'But what spurs you to send for us so ur- urgent, Justice Pike?' "'Tis not for nothing we are called Little Happens. "'The last event of import here, as I recall, "'was a cow did loose from neath a gate and walk along... "'We will... which... we will hear... Hear you out, nonetheless. Witchcraft, witchcraft is rife, and our work plentiful. Is that not so, Mister Clark? Mister Clark does not like being made to agree with Mister Warren. His reply is perhaps a little sarcastic. You could have delivered it. <laughs> Indeed, devils walk the countryside and hedgerows as close as the next shire. What is their shape? Should I meet one in the lane? They are cunning, Justice Pike and will be transformed into something of the field, a fox, perhaps, or a stoat. A tree? A tree. <laughs> <laughs> yes, a tree, perhaps. I did once buy a tree with a face in the bark. I thought it wicked and felt it mocked me. Tis unusual, but could be so. What about a step? A step? Two weeks ag- <laughs> since I did trip and fall on a step on the edge of the green. Could it not be a devil all hunched down? I did hurt my hand as I fell, and little stones did stick in my palm. Tis possible, but we have yet to hear of it. Well, we thank God you are at hand, Mr. Warren, and you also, Mr. Clark. There is, here in the village, a young couple who claim their mother, Elizabeth Gadge, is a sorceress, and much talk of her the devilry do they recount. And we're in. We're in. We, c- we can do the whole episode if you want, but... <laughs> No, because that will be the next (laughs) run-through. We'll also get picked up by the uh, BBC people that... Well, they've got form, haven't they? They don't like us. We're on on some sort of blacklist now. At least a dark grey list. (laughs) Oh, sorry. Yeah, I messed up some of that. I don't think that was the greatest... uh, I I think it was your friend. Your friend isn't used to the the dynamic, is he? No, he, he jumped in the wrong bit. Yeah. That was a poor um, uh, audition, but, you know. Uh, so what's that? What's going on in that? I didn't. I wasn't really paying attention to what the substance of that little scene actually. Um, I think it made. I quite liked the fact that it made Pike all the more ridiculous. It really cemented the character that he is with just his ridiculous. Could it be a tree? Could it be a step? I've been upset by a step and a tree. <laughs> yeah. Could they be the devil? <laughs> yeah, the kind of just ridiculousness of him and the entire situation. I, I, Andrew Pike is the best character. Like he's so, he <laughs> such is. a he's wonderful so character. I think it was like reinforced doing this read through. Um, yeah, it kind of he, shone he lights very- on some of the things that I don't. I, I think I'd missed the kind of extent of his perversion. <laughs> yeah. I, mean, I like the fact also that in the script, there isn't, there isn't any direction in the script for like the, the looks that he gets from Clark and Warren mm. when they, they just sort of dropped in these points where they just look at him as if to say, what are you, what, yeah. <laughs> what is this? Yeah. yeah. It's, um, like when he won't stop talking about ass kissing. Yeah, it, is it? Yeah, I'd made a note of. Um, it's when Reese, when Warren is, um, he just throws him a look that is so good. Um, yeah, yeah, it's the bit. Uh, and did you by transvection fly to the Sabbath on a shovel and lick and caress the devil's ass with your hot probing tongue? Um, <laughs> And it's Lot, it became long, long probing, probing instead yeah, of hot it probing. Did, yeah. It's hot probing in the script, though. But Reese's look at that point is just like, <laughs> <laughs> what? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> so the things that he, I guess the things that Pike focuses on and then creates a story around in his head that mm. that brings him like great perverse joy. Yeah. It's, it's brilliant. <laughs> it's brilliant. <laughs> Um, and his his pop comic timing, like with the demon thing, the names backwards. Yes. Yeah. Wait, I nearly got it. <laughs> <laughs> Is it not demon? <laughs> yeah. That's one thing that um, I picked up a bit more was quite how um, 
disparaging Clark was towards Warren throughout the whole thing. Yeah. I hadn't quite picked up the extent to which he does spend his entire time rolling his eyes and making Saki comments. And it's very obvious when you've got, got it written down in front of you quite how not into this he is. And I kind of got a bit of a renewed impression that he's kind of, he's kind of allowing it all to continue because he thinks that eventually um, Sarah Nutter will just sort of give in and say, no, we've made all this up. Yeah. It's like, he's almost letting it get to the extremes with the prodding with the spiky stick and stuff. Cause he thinks that's going to break the other side, break the other yeah. way. Cause they'll feel sorry for the mum and yeah. Yeah, exactly. But it never happens. Yeah. <laughs> because she's a witch at the end of the day. She, yeah, yeah, she actually <laughs> is. I mean, the thing is that she's both a witch and hasn't been sucking on the teat of the devil. <laughs> it, that's where it's just, I mean, it's, it's grey areas, isn't it? It's really grey areas. It is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, it's uh, old Richard two shoes. Yeah. <laughs> the, um, you know, the, the, like, the bill that they, or the, the money that they get for their services. Mm -hmm. Mr. Clark obviously says it can be visited after a verdict is settled. Um, lest she is innocent and her accusers proved wrong. Does that mean he, is, does that mean it's like a no win, no fee thing for? I feel like that's what he's kind of getting at. But Warren's like, he charges regardless, even though he sleeps on the way. Yeah, I think so. Although, uh, to be fair, it could be that it is a no win, no fee, but um, Warren never has already ready. decided anyway. Like, he's never, yeah, there's never no win. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's always. <laughs> well, I suppose that's the shape of the whole thing is like, till she confesses. So we're going to be here exactly, until yeah. she confesses. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Which is great. Um, there, is, there is actually a little bit taken out with, I think there's meant to be a bit of a, um, just a ridiculously over the top bit where they, where Warren goes through the usual practice has been subjected overnight to the five steps preparatory torture, ordinary torture, extraordinary torture, additional and occasional torture. And finally, final torture <laughs> that disappeared. Where's that? I missed that. Um, it is international barn day. That doesn't help because that's most of it. Oh, just after the pair Pike dropping the pair. Uh, okay. Uh, sure. I, a breakfast. I'll take your word for it. Um, it's actually the 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 quite important bit where they're having the exchange about um, the extent to which this is the right thing to be doing. Okay, right. And, and then you get that. It was when the point of, pair falls. After yes, that. just after that. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Tread yeah, cautiously, Mr. Clark, lest you find yourself recused. There's a few bits. Because um, they have a little exchange there, like, we began as seekers of truth. We are still. And the that seed that would suggest that there is a antagonism between them there isn't isn't actually planted at that point i don't think no no and it's it's also not something that i guess if they were running short on time then it would make sense that the initial bit goes because all it really does is just give us a little bit more insight into andrew pike being ridiculous yeah um and it, there isn't any kind of Oh, apart from the sarcasm, I guess. And it introduces the, the setting. Um, it is not for nothing we are called Little ha Happens. The last event of import here, as I recall, was a cow. But I think that that's kind of delivered through the rest of it exactly, anyway. Exactly, yeah. So you don't actually hear that it's called Little Happens then until um, he's welcoming everybody to the sign trial. sign on the way in, isn't there? Oh, there, there is, is a sign yeah, in, the initial, suppose, yeah. in, the initial, in the initial sort of intro bit but the um, um the kind of talking about it have a, in reference we have to a pond 
yeah. <laughs> with a duck. Which is so good. And a, and a bench. <laughs> I love it. Yeah. I still I also still love the line about um a potato for the fire. <laughs> yeah. Tickets are now on sale at the Green Man Inn. Family tokens include a free potato to bake in the fire. <laughs> and may the Lord have mercy on your yeah, soul. <laughs> so good. Yeah. There's some lovely little like um Gary Baldy bits in this. Like the spaniel called Rory and I don't know, it's just the little details that they're focusing on just make it hilarious. But apart from that, <laughs> yeah. well, they, they did change a little bit of the background stuff in the court as well. Um, they added in the crowd, it being a raucous audience quite early on. Mm-hmm. They added in the laughter after her three score and ten. Um, I think the th- I was struck yeah. by how I hadn't realised how much she was not a victim actually through almost through the entire thing. Like mm. on first watch, you, she comes across as like almost a frail victim, but actually when you she d- watch it, yeah. And, like in the script, like she's she's actually in control of a lot of this situation. Well, that's the thing is that there was one bit that did disappear that um, it's almost surprised me that it went out because it does um, really shift the balance like that, which is where she doesn't she doesn't pull faces to make the crowd laugh. And then that's an explicit direction in here yeah. because it says realizing the power that she has. She starts pulling faces to make them laugh, and it it it, it, it wasn't needed because no. they were playing the game of try not to laugh anyway, and so that was enough to make it hilarious. I like that um, direction where it's like all of uh, I can't remember what it is exactly, but it's like all of a sudden they're playing a game of try not to laugh, or yeah, <laughs> and it's like actually it made me really th- when I read that I was like yeah they've managed to create this whole situation where you're fully invested in what's going on. And this is only like, what, 10 minutes into the episode? They do achieve a lot. (laughs) (laughs) Although not as much as they wanted to with this script. I mean, how long did it take us to get through that? At least, (laughs) at least half an hour. (laughs) (laughs) So yeah, it was initially, it says things like it was silent in the court. Um, whereas in reality, there was loads of over the top gasps and conversations about what was going on. Yeah. It was only later that, um, that started becoming a bit farcical. Mm -hmm. I also, um, saw Leeds got another mention. It did. Yeah. There's a coven. (laughs) They uncovered a coven in Leeds. I read of it. It was in Leeds. Those goths. (laughs) Yes. Yeah. I love that. Um, yeah, and the bit, you know, when he, uh, I, I don't think I'd quite noticed the the bit where they talk about the testing, you know, after it, the crowd gets too much and they're like, right, we need to do this behind closed doors. Yeah. And then Warren starts getting out all of the uh, the implements to test. And it's like, that's so mean to that crowd. And they're yeah, yeah. groans <laughs> of disappointment from the villagers on the benches. Yeah. They start to troop out. And then just the, such a teacher line isn't it of like well you've spoiled it for yourselves (laughs) (laughs) from pike you've only got yourselves to blame (laughs) you could have watched this happen but no you decided to laugh (laughs) it's like classroom i also i also realized that with the torture stuff when they threatened to sew up her mouth um so that she was forced to listen was very much a sign of exactly how this was supposed to go because this is not about her defense uh, having a say. at all yeah. in any way whatsoever. <laughs> like it's, it's either You've shut no up voice. or we'll make you shut up yeah. because yeah, we've already decided what's going on here. Hence why, you know, why he might as well get his um, payment delivered now. Yeah. Yeah. That's a good point. Yeah. Well, I, I mean, that's, I really do not have a lot to say about this. Um, there's a, just a couple couple of bits missing, but they're not of any significance, really. Not enough for us to whack them out, anyway. No, there's the kind of sorry. Andrew Pike again, 
talking about what's going on by the pyre, pin the tail on the devil, witch oh, bobbing. Actually, sort of there was um, there was something at the end. Um, the very last couple of bits. The, Pike didn't name all the events that were going on outside <laughs> in the fair like he did in the script. No. The bobbing for apples and yeah, things. Yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah. It doesn't mention that she became a crow. In the script? Yeah. No, that's true. She, they just decided to make her a crow. And it also didn't say that we heard Warren screaming at the end either. <laughs> no. As he was burned alive. No. <laughs> Pretty <laughs> dark. Is that, is that what she sounds like? like she's a witch. It's fine. <laughs> yeah, no, it just says, um, we remain on the body of Mr. Clark and see the feet of Elizabeth Gadge float up off the ground and disappear. Smoke envelops the room. Yeah, no crow. Became a crow. She became a crow and flew away to see her master. Which I think we said might, maybe that was the crow that was terrorizing mm. from before, which was a nice touch. It wasn't even meant to be there. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. It's um, it, it, like thematically, it's a really interesting episode. Like we're not going to go into because I know we. I think that's where we delved in and spent a lot mm. of time talking. Um, but yeah, I just think from that perspective of like the whole, you've you've come to the the right conclusion by completely the wrong means. Like you know the the whole thing of like suckling on she was suckling on something but it was not the devil's teat you're you're right <laughs> about your assessment of of her but you've got there in completely the wrong way like yeah yeah it's a really odd that's true yeah it's a really odd thing you were right all along but you're not right because you you're like the means with which you got to being right is completely wrong so does that make you right or wrong Are you right or wrong well I don't know. A stopped watch is always right twice a day. That's, yeah. (laughs) Great. Cool. I think we're done. I think so. It was a short one. Short but sweet. Yeah. Great. Cool. Have a good week. You too. See you then. Bye-bye.